are sugars better than acetate? And my question back is, better than what? Better than what are you trying to do? We know the value of sugar. We've dropped multiple podcasts. We just dropped a recent podcast coming out here just right now regarding why we want to use sugar. There's information from universities. There's information from the USDA talking about why it is we would use sugar on corn, soybeans, milo, wheat, whatever crop it might be, showing rice. There's a lot of benefits to using sugar. I get people that talk to me about the joys and wonders of acetate. And then when I start looking at it and they start pointing me to these studies saying, oh, look what acetate did, I get confused. Why? Well, because the first one that I got sent, someone said, look at this study on acetate. It was zinc ammonium acetate. And they said, here we use zinc ammonium acetate and it made the roots grow. Probably wrong answer, guys. Zinc makes roots grow. If you just use a good zinc product, you will enhance your root growth. We know that. So was it the acetate or was it the zinc? I get other people saying, oh, here's a study. Matter of fact, here's one right here. Joys and wonders of side dressing potassium and nitrogen on corn and evaluating the effects on yield. And talked about the fact, man, when we use potassium acetate, we got a yield increase. Look at the value of acetate. Maybe we just want to look at the value of potassium. What if you'd pota use potassium hydroxide? What if you had used a hot mix 31818? What if you had used potassium sulfate? There's a lot of different things out there that will work to increase yields applying potassium. You know, we have people that say, well, you should only chelate with an acetate. And then they, you don't want to use EDTA because you just want to use an acetate. Let us remember EDTA is ethylene diamine tetracetic acid. It is an acetic acid. And we know that it is a great chelator and maybe it has value to the plant, the acetic acid. But here's what I do know. The nutrients that a chelates have great value. We know manganese, copper, iron, magnesium, whatever it might be, zinc. We know what those do. We do the 12 days of nutrients. It's in there. So guys, I'm just going to say this. I'm not opposed to the use of acetic acid, but it seems to me that we're always putting acetic acid on with something else that we probably need. And let's make sure we're giving credit where credit is due. And we know that sugar is always a good choice that's inexpensive and has a great ROI.